Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you. A, uh, we're going to make a better uh, walker here, and we're going to do that using a different um, step. And we're going to mainly, mainly what this video is uh, about is randomness and uh, a new way to handle randomness. Um, so right now we have random int from 0 to 3 and we're going to change that and we're going to go from negative 1 to 1 and so what random int does is like we, I said before it either get, it gives you um, the random integer between the bottom and the top so this one is between negative 1 and 1 so a third of the time it's going to be negative 1 uh, a third 0 a third 1 and instead of calling that choice we're going to call that step x and we're going to instead of uh, you know going through choice we're going to just affect this variable right up here the self x so we're going to do self dot x equals we're going to go plus equals step x so random integer we're going to either we're going to add the random integer to self dot x if you haven't seen this format before um, x plus equals 1 is the same thing as x equals x plus 1 so this is just a, a clearer way of doing this and so we have step self dot x we're gonna do y and we're gonna introduce z so we can finally get some 3d stuff instead of the boring pattern that we have right here and we're going to do the same thing right here and uh, because we have self.z we need to initialize it up here self z equals we're just going to put starting point 0 0 0 and we're going to add a point at self.x self.y self.z so um, like the the last method every time you call step it's going to change the class variable up here and we're going to get a point at that new variable so here you can see that we've already got something a lot more a lot more interesting than what we had before and uh, there's two things that I, I want you to notice about this the first is you can see that it's kind of along the grid uh, so it's landing at the grid and that's because we're doing the integer we're going random int negative one one the second thing that I want you to notice is that it's hovering around the center pretty well um, for 2000 steps it's you know hugging the center well if we change the step or the seed we can see that one's really close around the center and they're all staying close to the center so yeah so the two points were the grid and close to the center we're going to change both of those uh, aspects of our script um, we're going to use a different kind of randomness here we have random int we're going to change it to uniform and what uniform does is it returns a float in between negative 1 and 1 so with this uh, if you imagine uh, a line it's going to land on any point across that line uh, but it's going to have it's going to do so uniformly and but I what I mean by that is um, it's going to land uh, 
like for this one, it's going to land half the time above zero and half the time below zero because zero is halfway in between. And so I'm going to I'm going to give you another example of what I just said. Test. Okay. So you can see that it's not landing on the grid now. It's all all over the place. But um, like I said before, it's kind of doing it's doing it uniformly. So it's still hugging the center. Uh, still kind of staying around the center. Uh, if I change this to 2, that means it's going to land across that point even, or that line evenly. From negative to 2, you know, it's going to land evenly across there. So instead of, so if you think about 0, um, half the time, or a third of the time now it's going to be below zero and two-thirds of the time it's going to be above zero because zero is one-third across our uh, line of from negative one to two so test you can see that it stretches it out if it's landing if it two-thirds of the time it's landing um, above zero x is above zero then it's going to stretch it way out so uh, two, and with this one, you don't need to have pass in integers. You can pass in float values. So it doesn't stretch it out quite so much, even from negative one to one point one. It still stretches it out quite a bit in that direction. Let's look at it with a different seed. Yeah, so you can see across all of our different seeds it's still stretching it out in that x direction. Um, I'm going to have it hug the center. So, yeah, so basically those were the two main points. Um, or the one main point is the different kind of randomness. So in the future when you think about projects you can think about them in a different kind of randomness with different kind of randomness. I'm gonna talk about Gaussian randomness and also Perlin noise and um, show you how to use those two in the future.